eventually we're going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time, but after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral, we don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died, civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away. He and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the Constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. <laughs> 
So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow Plant. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail, a Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven, I've marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. Oh, suits you, sir. Honey, it's me. You called? Yes, I know they're coming for dinner. I have to finish my rounds first. Hmm, a lawsuit between Janus and another resident. Might be a good place to start your investigation into Janus's life, 47. I said... I thought this was supposed to be a quiet Saturday, but there are just so many letters. I got a package for Batty as well. Did you know he was engaged in a lawsuit against Janus? That old Russian guy I talked about? No, there's only me here to cover it. I would love it if someone else could help. Even if it was only with that package to Batty. He talks and talks and I just don't have time for that today. All right, I'll call you when I'm over by the bus. Bye, honey. Do you need some help? You know what, friend? I could indeed use some help. It's very kind of you to ask. People in this neighborhood are just so friendly. That's what I really love about this place. No problem. What do you need? Well, I'm running awfully late today. Chatty people in this neighborhood, you know? Anyway, I've got this package for James Batty at number 432. Would you be able to deliver it to him? I wouldn't normally just hand over a package like that, but you look very trustworthy. I could do that. House number 432? Yes, big house at the bend in the road. It's undergoing fumigation at the moment, so you can't miss it. Just leave it in the mailbox and ring his doorbell, and he'll come get it. 
He lives in his shed in the backyard, so it might take a few moments for him to show up. Consider it done. Thank you again. This place is just amazing. Helen gives away muffins, and you're helping deliver packages. What a day! This is Nolan Cassidy of Whittleton Creek. I want to speak to the man in charge. That's you. You people completed your work on my house last but there's still all your I talked to the man claiming he needs to be done by this house before the room. Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. The lawsuit also mentions Nolan Cassidy and his unlawful surveillance around town. Hmm. So Janus takes a helicopter trip once per year. I think we're on to something here, 47. 47? I think it would be beneficial to locate the unlawful surveillance mentioned in the lawsuit. Perhaps Nolan Cassidy's house would be a good place to start. Hmm, a recording of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47.
drop off the surveillance tapes on Janus at the house? Cassidy was absent. Yeah, headed them to the foil. What a stupid system. The cord the surveillance in the attic, bring the tapes home to HQ and review them there. The recorder is perfectly capable of playing the tapes as well. Why not just keep them here? Why risk the owners mm. of this house and they coming home? Cassidy is certainly keeping a close watch on Janus. I'm willing to bet those surveillance tapes hold interesting information. confirms that Janus and the Constant will meet up soon. I don't think we'll be able to identify the partners today, but this is very useful. The tape doesn't specify where that meeting will take place, however. We need that final bit, 47. So, we know that Janus is expecting to leave Whittleton Creek via helicopter and that he's going to meet the Constant at some event. I think it's time to look inside Janus's house for more clues.
that's the last piece of the puzzle found, 47. While we didn't end up with the names or locations of the Providence partners as we had hoped, this at least gives us a clear bead on the constant. We can expect to find him at the annual gathering of the Ark Society in November. It should be enough. The Ark Society annual gathering. 47, that's it. That has to be the event where Janus and the Constant are meeting. That's the last piece of the puzzle found, 47. While we didn't end up with the names or locations of the Providence partners as we had hoped, this at least gives us a clear bead on the Constant. We can expect to find him at the annual gathering of the Ark Society in November. It should be enough. Hey, bro. Something different. Dear. Oh. Thanks. Enjoy. Hi there. Care for a taste? Uh. All right, folks. The food is ready. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Excuse me. Care for a snack? Hey, wait a minute. Oh, thanks. Sure thing. Thank you, Mrs. Wilson. I'll do just that. Psst. Wrap your lips around this. Let's hope he likes his food, 47. Thanks so much. It's got a little kick to it. Well, it looks pretty busy here. Yeah. I'll just wait my turn instead of trying to squeeze it. Get that right here. Start serving people, all right? Ah, Excuse me. Spot. You should so, try this. What's good here? It right here yeah. is all to die for, Mr. Cassidy. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. It's made just for you. Thank you very much. 
I don't think I can hold this down for long. What? Oh, okay. You need to see a doctor. Now. Okay. Oh, hi. Hey, hey, yeah. Okay, you really should see a doctor. Uh, do you want me to call someone? Just say the word. Wow. Nolan Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. Janus awaits your attention. Excuse me? Play around a little with some fertilizer, propane, and gasoline. They're right there to confiscate your stuff and treat you like a goddamn pet. Tourist. But when your car gets keyed by your neighbor's dimwit. Huh? Hmm. I wonder what that was. Hey, who's trying to break my balls here?
I understand you have a mole problem. Oh, you're a godsend. Let's get straight to it. The sooner this is fixed, the sooner I won't have to listen to Mr. Janus's complaints. Follow me. As you can see, we have a mole issue. Now, I know a permanent solution might take some time, but if you could just fill the holes by the end of the day, it'd be great. Come find me when you're done. I'm done. Great. Let me have a quick look. All right. Janus should be here to inspect the work soon, 47.
last, the actions of the first constant catch up. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like Janus. Still. We are close now, gentlemen. Both targets are dead. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. Society. One of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite. Billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted. No names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You all right? It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but... Like it happened to someone else. Wow. Your gift and your curse. What they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes. Found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. 